Hi, today I'm going to talk about research paradigm, methodology and methods. What are methodology methods of research? Methodology is a theoretical framing of methods and of a broader principles that underpin particular methods. Methodology is a map or a conceptual lens or positions to begin with a con to conceptualize your research from data collections, analysis, procedures, and to the final presentation of your research. Examples of technological perspective are qualitative research or quantitative research or ethnography types of research, narrative types of uh, research methodology, case study, action research, so on and so forth. What are methods? Methods are the particular strategies and procedures used when conducting research. For example, of methods are interview, your observations, the survey that you conducted, the document studies, and their related steps in details. The choice of methods will grow out from the methodological paradigm or methodological considerations as discussed earlier. Also, affects the way of describing and interpreting the research result as well. What are methodology and methods in research? This is a map system of the route that we can go through of our research path. I shall now zoom into this diagram to show the details of the route that uh, that a researcher will go through when planning for their methodology for research. For example, your methodology is a theoretical or conceptual lens through which you study or you chose uh, to, to study your research. And often, the researcher will opt for two main paradigm of research. There is to the paradigm of very quantitative types of research, or sometimes we call it like <clears throat> very empirical research world. Or certain time, certain group of researcher will opt for qualitative research avenue, which is more on looking into observation and also the values and the meaning of the data that you collected. There are other paths such as constructive research path, which is mainly focused on problem solving types of research. Of all these paths, there are methods for each of the paths that will be discussed later in this uh, lecture. Research paradigm of qualitative and quantitative methodology. There are two main research paradigm which have roots in 20th uh, century philosophical thinking. Quantitative is termed as the traditional, the positivist and the experimental or empiricist types of paradigm of research. On the contrary, for qualitative research, is termed as the constructivist or naturalistic, the interpretative phenomenology or the post-positivist or postmodern perspective types of research. Let's look into this table in discussing the differences between quantitative and qualitative uh, paradigm assumptions of these two paradigms of research. 
from the assumptions of ontological assumptions. Ontology means um, the nature of being. What is the nature of reality? For quantitative, reality is objective and singular, apart from the researcher. In qualitative, reality is subjective and multiple as seen by the participants in the study, in which the researcher can, can gather information based on subjectivity and the researcher can interpret the research. From the perspective of epistemological perspective, in which the research, the assumption will look into the piece of knowledge and how we acquired it, what is the relationship of the researcher to the research? In quantitative research, the researcher is independent from that being research. And the researcher will not be directly involved or interfere in the data collection approach. And in the qualitative approach, researcher interacts with that is uh, with that being research. So there will be an influence of the researcher in terms of the data and in terms of the methods carried out. On the another assumptions of a perspective on axiological assumptions, which means uh, the nature of values and valuation. What is the roles of the values in the context of these two paradigms of research? For quantitative, it is value-free and unbiased. However, in qualitative, it is value-laden and also biased. Okay. In terms of rhetorical assumptions, what, what is the language of research used? And the art of discourse or the art of writing up the language. For quantitative, it is formal, based on the set of definition. Impersonal voice, use of accepted quantitative words. However, in qualitative, it is often informal, evolving decisions, personal voice, accepted qualitative words. And Lastly, for the assumptions of methodological perspective, what is the process of the research? Methodological means processes of the research. In quantitative research, it is often deductive process. Cause and effects, static design, categories isolated before the study, and it is context-free, which means that the process is not bound within the context or the cultural context of the country or the position of the researcher in that context. Generalization leading to the predictions, explanation and understanding, in which quantitative research is aimed for predictions and also explanation types of research. And it is accurate and often quite reliable through validity and also reliability uh, processes. And for the qualitative research, it is often inductive processes, mutual simultaneous shaping of factors, emerging design categories identified during research processes, and it can be changed in terms of the categories. And qualitative research is often context-bound, within the cultural context and it is also pattern theories developed for building up the understanding about certain phenomena and accurate and reliable through true verifications with with the uh, respondents and often there are uh, re repetitive uh, recheck and also a verification with the participants and uh, for the reason for selecting a paradigm usually from the researcher worldview the researcher comfort with the ontological 
epistemological, axiological, rhetorical, and methodological assumptions of the quantitative paradigm. And for the qualitative paradigm, the researcher who opt for this paradigm will be more comfortable with the ontological, epistemological, axiological, rhetorical, and methodological assumptions of the qualitative paradigm. Often, a researcher will opt for one type of paradigm that they prefer to. In terms of the training and experience of the researcher, technical writing skills uh, are required and computer statistical skills and library skills are also required for this paradigm on quantitative. And for the qualitative, literally writing skills, computer text analysis skills, which is very much focused on analyzing qualitative data, computer text or text-based analysis, which is the focus of qualitative research. And also, the library skill is also uh, important. Researchers' psychological attributes. From this perspective, uh, the researchers who are comfortable with quantitative paradigm, they are the person who comfort with the rules and guidelines for conducting research. They have low tolerance for ambiguity. They want their research definition and the variables has to be defined clearly. And time for the study is often quite uh, short for quantitative research paradigm. However, for qualitative, the person, the researcher, must be comfort with the lack of specific rules and procedures for conducting research. High, they have high tolerance for ambiguity, time for lengthy study, and uh, rich data will be analyzed and also collected. In terms of the nature of the problems, Usually for quantitative research paradigm, previous study by other researchers so that uh, the body of the literature exists and uh, the non-variable or existing theories will be studied. However, for the qualitative, the approach is exploratory research. Variables are unknown and they will be found out, find out in this research. It is the context of the research is also very important. May lack theory base for the study. Audience of the study. Usually for quantitative paradigm, the individual is accust accustomed to or support the quantitative study. However, for the qualitative paradigm, the individual accustomed to or supportive of qualitative study. So in which position that you are in these two paradigms, you may reflect on your uh, preferences and also your, your uh, preferred path of your research choice in terms of the methodology. There is another mixed method paradigm too, which will not be explained, but you can always refer to the videos uh, given by Creswell. In terms of the research design or the research methodologies, uh, there is a scholar by John Scooch has provided this overview about the uh, different research worldviews, paradigms, and also the choice of the methodologies in research. In research design, or what we call it as a choice of methodologies, it is very much depends on the paradigm and the worldview that you uh, are opt to choose, whether it is more qualitative or quantitative paradigm. And research design is often uh, can be uh, interpreted as conceptualize an operational plan for answering research question. This is the definition of research design and it is to ensure that the procedures are adequate to meet the validity, objectivity and accuracy of the study. Often there are various types of uh, research methodologies uh, presented uh, in, in the research methodology resources such as 
the one which is more towards quantitative or positivism uh, types of research are classical experiment, survey research, evaluation research. There is another way uh, of research which is more naturalistic or interpretive or more uh, in terms of constructivism types of research paradigm which is uh, more focusing on ethnographic types of research and also case study phenomenology which in nature it is more qualitative in nature on another part of the research which is very much focused on action-based research and also practitioner and problem solving types of research which is a uh, these types of research, practitioner-based and social-based research. It is often also a qualitative types of research. So it is a, a, the researcher roles to decide your paradigm. You know better about your worldview and also your paradigm, your belief system, and you decide your research path. Choose for the path that you want to opt for for your study and design research is normally qualitative, interpretive, and also participatory in nature for the area of design work that you are doing. So design research is normally posited in the area of qualitative, interpretative, and also participatory types of research. So to relate um, this lecture to what you need to do, is often uh, uh, rely on what uh, one of the scholars that has discussed about uh, five levels of methodology sections and also for secondary research methodology uh, the scholar Karen Pinney has also discussed about uh, five levels of methodologies of literature metrics and also secondary research methodologies this video has been given to you and we hope that uh, you can grab mm -hmm. the gist of uh, the importance of the video's lecture. And for your chapter 3 on the, method, uh, the methodology and the methods of your research, be it uh, primary research or secondary research approach, so we would like to look into the aspect of your research design, the paradigm, you may have one paragraph to talk about it. How to carry out your research, your study, why, whether it is qualitative or quantitative in nature, and types of the research, and the paradigm of the research that you believe in. And on the part of methods, which, which are the details of the steps, uh, of the choice of the methods of your research, you can look into the data collection approaches and also you can look into uh, the data source the sample data that you use for your secondary research or for your primary research which data that you gather and from who which source what types of data that you have gathered how many so in this paragraph you can write about uh, your your res in, in context of your research and the procedures, the step by steps taken by you systematically and identified uh, literature metrics and themes. Uh, what are the frame of the literature metrics that you would like to further develop as aligned to your research questions? And you can write something on the step by step you, that you plan to do. And also, the next step, the next paragraph or next section, you can actually write some plan about uh, how are you going to analyze the data, whether you are going to use a listing format or a table or a chart or some statistic such as a percentage or the count of the occurrence that you will be using or it is just merely a thematic analysis that you would like to uh, incorporate into your research. So these are the sections that you can incorporate it into your chapter 3. And we would like you to discuss your plan with the lecturers or 
in this discussion board via the social 